Hello, everyone. In this session, I want to discuss isolation and being alone and being lonely because they're two very different things, although on the surface, they look identical. Being lonely is more a state of mind. Being alone is a physical fact. Some people can feel lonely in the middle of a crowd. And that's the essence of being lonely, is that it doesn't really matter whether you're alone or within a crowd. It really is purely a state of mind. And quite possibly some type of energetic anomaly, which could be damage or an attachment, something like that. My specialty is life force energy coaching. And because of my own personal experiences with my life force, I learned a lot about how our life force gets corrupted. So now when we're referring to being lonely, that is a thought process that is connected to our energy. Everything always starts with energy. A thought form is energy. An emotion is, starts with energy. An action takes energy. So if you find yourself feeling lonely, it could be a state of mind in how you're thinking about something, how you think you shouldn't be alone right now because of whatever circumstance you're in. Whatever it is, that's a frame of mind and a thought process. And if you can bring yourself more into the moment and start to focus really on what you're doing right now, find a few things to be grateful for and breathe and just be hyper alert with right now, that thought process will probably start to change. The mind will start to recognize that it's erroneous. When you bring enough presence into your thought process, the negative chatter, the unnecessary talk in our heads just goes away. However, if you chronically feel lonely and you've done a lot to change your frame of mind and your thought process around it, yet still you feel like it grips you that there's something perhaps almost external that's making you feel this way, then it could very well be some energetic damage or perhaps an outside force that's working on your energy in a way that makes you feel these things and makes you think these thoughts. Now, this doesn't abdicate anyone from taking responsibility for what's happening. It's just very important to understand the difference. Sometimes, It is just a misdirection of our own thoughts. Other times, it really is some type of pressure, damage, attachment on our life force energy. And sometimes, the difference, it's extremely subtle because our energy is so interconnected with everything that we do. It animates our body, so it's impossible for our life force not to be intimately connected with everything we do and think and feel. So I hope that's given you some things to think about the next time you're feeling lonely and to understand that it's not always our fault. In fact, I think most of the time when things go wrong, it's not really our fault, but it is our responsibility to deal with it, to deal with ourselves and deal with our lives. So I hope that has given you something constructive to think about the next time you're feeling lonely. I know how challenging it can be. And I thank you for listening and have a very prosperous day.